Hi guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Pixnor 7-in-1 Beauty Care Massager. That's the name of this specific one, but what this type of thing is, um, is it's a spin brush. And if you don't know what that is, it's a spinning, uh, cleansing face brush. Now, this one has two different speeds, so here's the low speed, the high speed, and yeah, this works amazingly well. This retails for twelve or thirteen dollars. I'll put the exact price somewhere on the screen. I got it um off Amazon, and I'll put the link below. This is the cheapest one on the market that I am aware of. I don't, I'm never ever going to get one of the more expensive ones. This works amazingly well, and I love the packaging. It has a very soft feel to it, like a velvety. Like if you've ever felt the Nars packaging, it has a similar feel to that. And the handle is the perfect size to just put your entire hand around. I got the blue one, as you can see, but there's also a pink one. These kind of brushes, they go up to, I believe that the Clarisonic is the most expensive one. That one has a few different kinds, and that goes up to like $200. And all that one does is vibrate. Like, come on, but if you're going to go for a spin brush, get this one, really. Um, but the reason it's called a massager is because it comes with seven different brush heads and a few of them are from massage. So first of all, this one, so incredibly soft. That one's for your daily cleansing. Um, and then this one's an exfoliator brush that you'll use every once in a while. It's similar to the first one except just a little tougher, a little bit um, denser. And yeah, this one's a foot pumice stone, so that's for your feet just to get the dead skin off. The thing is, you'd have to use this by hand if you want to use this because you need to apply a lot of pressure with that and the, the brush won't spin when you apply that much pressure, but that's nothing to worry about on your face, so don't worry about that. Then you're getting this massager one. This one has like little roller balls on it. Super cool. Then this one is a foundation sponge. I'm so happy that they included this. this is so incredibly cool. As you can see, mine is dirty because I used it once, so that would be like my one complaint on it, that it's tricky to clean. But yeah, then there's this eye and cheek massager. It's another sponge. And then there's this one, which this one, what's, I don't really know what it does. It's a crude polish accessory to rip off the tough skin and cutin off. So this is a tough one. I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's for her face. I hope not. Um, but I'm going to demo two things about this brush. First of all, the foundation, the foundation sponge. And second of all, the um, cleansing brush. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm just going to pour that on the back of my hand. And then dip the sponge in and start slathering that all over my face, like frosting on a cake. Hi guys, so I'm in my bathroom and I'm here to show you the cleansing process. This is not waterproof, so it's really, really something that you can easily get around. But it just kind of frustrates me, why couldn't they just make it waterproof? What you do is use your face based on the instructions of your cleansing. This is the Purpose Gentle Cleansing Wash. I love this stuff. I got this big old guy off of Amazon. This would usually retail for what? $15 or something? But I got this off Amazon for like 6 or 7 I'll put the um, exact price around here somewhere. This is super gentle and it cleans everything off and yeah, it's just really great. So. This one says to wet your hands and your face before applying. So I'm just going to wet the brush and my face. So I wet my face and wet the brush. So there we go, my product is on. You can use whatever face wash is good for you, but I'm just making a suggestion with that one. Love it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the high speed and start washing my face. Okay, so there is no art to this by any means whatsoever. I'm just putting this all over my face, and you can use whatever quote-unquote technique you want. Look at how full of foundation that is. And here I'm just washing off my face. Okay, so the uh, clip where I was cleaning the brush 
accidentally got cut, I'm sorry, but this really cleans out super, super, super easily. Um, you saw how much foundation was on it, and it just cleaned off right away. Yeah, it did a great job cleaning my face. I feel super clean now. It's soft enough that you can actually go over your eyes. Well, depending on the cleanser you use also. Now I'm just going to show you a quick video of all the other brushes, uh, discluding the pumice stone to tell you how they feel. So I'll start with the exfoliator brush. This one's a little tougher. Um, you can feel it like getting deep in there though. The massaging rolling brush. Can you hear that? I don't know. It's, um, I guess it feels good. Now I'm doing the eye and cheek massager sponge. I'm going to do the higher speed. It does feel kind of relaxing, actually. I'll try this one to show you. I guess it's for your face. On the low speed, though, it doesn't feel bad. I would rate it to probably a 9.5 out of 10, just because there are a few flaws, like it's not waterproof, and the makeup sponge is really hard to clean. But really, I really, really love this and completely suggest you get this. I really hope this video helped you make up your mind on whether to get this one or not. Because I was really pretty skeptical on it because it was the cheapest one out there. And there weren't that many reviews, so yeah. Okay, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like or subscribe or both if you're feeling really frisky and crazy. Bye guys.